Hello movie fans and welcome to another edition of Movies. And today we're reviewing the latest addition to a long line of films exploring the war is hell genre. Although, given its theme is the Western Front during World War I, you'd be hard pressed to find a film with that backdrop suggesting that trench warfare is actually a skip through the poppies. So, like 1917, War Horse, Gallipoli, All the King's Men and A Very Long Engagement, All Quiet on the Western Front, our movie review today, portrays World War I as a meat grinder into which millions of lives were thrown in an effort to move the lines on a map a few yards here and there. And rightly so. For once the film examines the fighting in World War I from the German perspective, whose experiences were identical to the Western Allies. Directed by Edward Berger and based on a book of the same name by Eric Remarque, the film follows Paul Baumer, played by Felix Camera, as he tries to stay alive in France during the dying days of World War I. Whilst the film follows Baumer's journey from eager, naive recruit to hollow-eyed fatalist, there are moments of contrast as the film cuts occasionally to the efforts of senior German generals and other officials to negotiate an armistice with their British and French counterparts. Enter Matthias Erzberger, played by Daniel Bruhl, trying to secure an end to the war on terms acceptable to Germany, amongst the hawks on his own side who refused to countenance surrender in preference to rigging out yet more blood in an effort to succeed in the trenches. These parts of the film, whilst low on screen time, do serve to contrast Baumer's personal hellhole with the opulence in which the armistice is being conducted in a railway car carriage in the Compiègne forest. The message is clear. War as conducted by armchair generals many miles from the front, oblivious to the millions of lives being lost for zero reward, which only Erzberger seems to grasp. However, these episodes are also used to set the time frame in which Baumer's struggle to survive is set, as the common soldiery realises the possibility of war ending oh so very soon, and all they need to do to escape their hellfire is to reach the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month without getting bombed, gassed, shot, set on fire, crushed by tanks, bayoneted or buried alive. Given all those possibilities are depicted in this film in remarkable and horrific detail, that is a tall order. The problem I've always had with war movies is their struggle to translate scale on an available budget, which is one reason why World War I dramas tend to focus on a few characters along a small section of trench. Whilst it humanises the suffering, it is also easy on a production budget. All Quiet, however, succeeds in both empathising with Baumer's distress whilst painting a broad panoramic picture of the hell for thousands that this corner of France became. Nonetheless, despite all the carnage in the film, the lasting moments do not in fact involve chaos and destruction. The film is beautifully bookended by scenes of wintry natural silence. The armistice scenes in the frosty Compiègne forest are stunningly shot, and the sequence at the beginning of the film depicting the transfer of uniforms from dead soldiers at the front to redistribution at recruiting centres is perhaps the film's most poignant testament to the futility of war. In all, a quite remarkable film, brilliantly shot, superbly paced, with a strong anti-war message at its core that never wavers. If indeed you ever wanted to consider what hell might look like, All Quiet on the Western Front offers up the perfect vision. Um, whilst it comes down to it personal, it comes down to personal preference, I preferred watching the German original with English subtitles rather than the English overdub, simply because a German experience of war seemed to me to be best delivered with original German voices. In any way. Fear, terror, pain and distress are pretty much universal. So, thank you for watching. Hope you comment and if you like, please subscribe to our channel.
Otherwise, do look out for more movie reviews soon.